Oh, look at that. We made it, which means I made it. Jack did not make it. He'll be here, but he didn't make it. His camera's not working yet. Every once in a while, the computer decides it doesn't want you to do what you would like to do. And that, that's what's happened to Jack. Um, but good news from the game is Jack got to get a picture with, with our man, Rui, the GOAT. One of the big supporters of the channel. He's at the Garden Town. He got a picture with Jack, Cam, Bobby, Noah, and Justin. Most of the round table. Except me. Which is okay. <laughs> Sam Solo Show. No, uh, Jack will be here. He'll be here. How is everybody today? We have ourselves an absolute barn burner. The Knicks are in town. They're going to be playing for real today because they have something to play for still. They are one of the many teams that can still move around in the Eastern Conference. The Celtics are pretty much the only team that has their playoff spot set. New York is just a game and a half, I think, behind the Bucks. They are very close with Orlando as well. Plenty of room to wiggle around here. I'm going to pull this up here. It shows you all the different places that these teams can finish in the playoff race. Yeah, not the playoffs. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Oh, what the hell is happening? Yeah. I don't know what's going on. They don't want they don't want Jack to show his lovely face. You can see on on the screen here. Oh, are you in the stream? Yeah, you are in the stream. Can you hear me? I can hear you. I just I it's just Duke. I'm like laughing. Some sometimes it lagging is a motherfucker. But anyways, okay. This is not this is not like a normal thing. Uh yeah, so the Celtics are the only team to lock up a seed in the Easter Conference. The Knicks, however, can finish anywhere from second to six. So the moral of the story, the reason why that I pulled this up is to tell you the Knicks are going to try today. And the Celtics are going to semi-try. They are going to play a lot of their guys, much to my dismay. I did not want <laughs> I did not want the Celtics to be suiting up anybody today. I thought it would be a great day to rest the entire team. Oh, I thought I was hosting playback today. I guess not. Huh. Looks like I caught a break. And I'm not I'm not hosting Celtics Flag Playback. That's okay. Um But yes. You're gonna see Holiday, Derek White, Brown, Tatum, and Porzingis. The whole starting five is gonna play. You're gonna not have Horford with it being the first night of a back to back. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Let's see. Timo says. It's so dumb. We have very little to gain and a ton to lose. Their effort just isn't going to be as high as the Knicks, which is a recipe for something dumb to happen. It sort of is. It, it's a little bit annoying that, you know, the Celtics are going to give the Knicks an opportunity to gain some confidence. You want to talk about somebody responsible for this, look no further than the main Celtics, who just keep winning playoff games. They have their G League Finals Game 2 in OKC tonight, meaning Nimi. Jordan Walls, J.D. Davison, and Drew Peterson are all halfway across the country. They will not be available tonight. They won't be with the Celtics. They will be trying to win some hardware in the G League. Let's see. Got some questions in the chat. Gerald says, Sam, they have a whole week to rest before the final round. I believe the last game, they'll all rest. It's half about rest and half about I just don't think they need to show anything else to these teams. They have nothing to play for. Why would you let the Knicks get confidence if they come in and outwork you? Because they're probably going to, since they have something left to play for. Bergen says, how confident am I that D. White gets an extension this summer? I would imagine that they try, at the very least. I think the Tatum extension is really going to be the thing that's going to happen, guaranteed. That's one. It's a year after Jalen's. They were drafted a year apart. That is probably going to be the number one story throughout the summer. Derek White is one that should happen. He's earned it. He's been a huge part of the Celtics team this year. He's had a breakout season, and they should pay him. It's not my money. Why Why do I care what they pay him? I've said this numerous times. With the new CBA, there are absolutely a ton of restrictions. But at the same time, those restrictions prohibit you from bringing in talent. 
if you already have the talent, why not pay to keep it locked up? Derek White is not somebody you can replace by letting him walk. Sure, you can draft players, and the CBA does restrict your draft position, but at the same time, I don't know. What do I care? The draft is important. It's more important than ever. That's why players like Jordan Walsh, the development projects up in Maine, like Drew Peterson and Nimi are very important to keep your eyes on because these are guys that are going to fill roster spots for the Celtics for very little cost. You need them to be able to play ball, but there are guys on this team already. Why not pay him? Why not pay him? Let's see. RJ says he's hoping for Bucks Sixers first round. Yeah. Wayne Spoonie. We've blown past the restrictions anyway, with or without Derek, so just sign him. That's facts. There is no reason not to sign him. It And, you know, on his end, he might be leaving money on this table, and that's fair, but if winning is the number one priority, why not stick around? He seems to like it here. His father is a Celtics fan. Die hard. He's on Twitter. He's excellent. I'm sure he would love if his son stuck around with the Celtics. Why have you been awake for two days? Oh, you you just came home. You're in Massachusetts. Are you going to go to a game while you're here, Jackin? Welcome back. Gerald says, would I rather Josh Hart or DiVincenzo for the Celtics bench right now? DiVincenzo was a really good pickup for the Knicks last summer. He had somewhat of an underwhelming season in Golden State last year. Or I'm sorry, he had a great season with Golden State last year after an underwhelming season with the Kings. So we got a little bit of eyes on him playing a lot of national games, and he's been really great for the Knicks. He's had numerous high-scoring games, and he can play defense. So he's somebody that would be a good fit with the Celtics. He'd be able to do similar things to Derek White and, and Drew Holiday in the way that they would use him here. Let's see. Not sure if you're going to go. Choices doesn't mean he he will leave. He may not sign into unrestricted free agency. It's true. It's true. Where's Andrew? I don't know where Andrew is. Any reports on Giannis missing playoff time? So the latest on Giannis, if you guys are all wondering, Giannis avoided an Achilles injury. He has some sort of calf strain. The timetable they have given him is one to two weeks. If all goes well, he's guaranteed to miss the remaining regular season games for Milwaukee. But because there's a huge gap between Sunday's regular season final day and the start of the playoffs next Saturday at the earliest, there's time for him to recover. It's just a question of he's if he's feeling 100% or not. Because if he's not feeling 100%, you could see a lot of what you saw last year. He came and, and he hurt his back. And then he, he hustled back into the lineup and really wasn't as effective as he could have been against the Heat, and they lost anyways. So, very, very, very tough for the Bucs. <laughs> My Pistons would take any all the help they could get, Gerald. Yeah, I mean, Jack Jack is big on the, I think the Bucs could lose in the first round train. And I completely see where he's coming from. This Bucks team is a mess. I believe even after beating the Celtics, actually they might be back at 500 because they won yesterday too. But since Doc took over, they have not been the team that everyone had hoped they would be. The Adrian Griffin firing was very odd, especially with a 31 and 13 record. They fired the coach. I'm, I can't wait for the tell all to come out on that because there must have been some shit going on with him for them to get rid of him. I'm going to put it up on the screen here. The Papa Parlay is in here. It's presented by Papa Tom. He says, Derek White, 10 points. Jalen Brown, 15 points. Tatum, 20 points. Tatum, two threes. Derek White, two threes. Celtics to leave at that lead at the half and at the end of the game. I'll leave it up there for a minute. John says, we've never seen an Embiid Giannis playoff series. No, you were a quiet shot away from seeing it in 2019. Usually the Sixers just kind of don't get far enough to play the box. That's what happens. Uh, so they very well could wind up seeing them this season. I'm going to pull the possible standings seeds back up because a lot of these teams have a wide range of where they could end up this, this spring. So we've got it here. Again, the Celtics are the only – 
every single team that's going to play in the postseason has clinched their spot. But the Celtics are the only ones that are locked into a specific seed. So Milwaukee could go as far down as four. The Knicks could go all the way down to six. Cleveland could slide to seven. Orlando to eight. The Pacers could range from three to eight. I can hear you. The Sixers could go anywhere from five to eight. Miami could go five to eight. In Chicago and Atlanta are in that 9-10 game. They will be there no matter what. Jack Lowe. My camera's just broken. Like, I I don't know. Flat out broken. Yeah, I tried to open the camera app on my, like, laptop, and it's just broken. It's just straight broken. I have no idea what happened. You got to get yourself a, a USB no camera. Idea. I have one, but I've never had to use it for my laptop. It's at my house. <laughs> well, at least you have one, though. Yeah. That way... Oh, the, well, the post game is going to be an event today. Yeah, I'm more concerned why my fucking camera is broken. I wonder if someone has one you could borrow. Maybe. I'm just fucking annoyed. I'm just really angry like that my fucking camera is oh, randomly broken. Too. I'm, I'm it's disappointed. Just some I fucking don't get to bullshit. See you. <laughs> I'm not going to try to fix it while we go here, but I'm just, yeah, I'm really annoyed. Like, I have no idea what the fuck's wrong. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, this sucks. I thought I was doing playback today. It turns out I'm not. Who's doing it? It's gonna hold. It's gonna be Spoonie, Jake, and uh, Robbie. So I don't need to do it. I thought I was it, but that's okay. Oh, my parents are arguing. <laughs> Could you hear them? Papa Parlay is still on the screen. Oh, Jack's mic is not working now. John says, "Jack, I can run a camera over to you. Can you get in the garden, John? You just go right in." Man, this is the this is the best Duke picture. The cone of shame picture with Duke. You don't understand. It's a legendary photograph. Yeah, the play-in is going to be a ton of fun this, this spring. Because for the Celtics, it's going to matter. Which I kind of hate that the Celtics don't know whether or not that they are going to play a good team or a bad team. It's kind of frustrating. But... The real losers of the plane is whoever comes in second as of now, because any of those Sixers Heat teams could wind up playing you if they don't climb out of the plane. And they very well could. Both of them can get anywhere up to five, but it's kind of unlikely. And it seems like they're going to end up in the play in. Philly is a game back of Indiana and Orlando at this point. Miami is two games back of both of those teams. I don't believe that the Pacers can slide past Miami. The Pacers own the tiebreaker over both Philly and Miami. But Orlando can definitely drop past both those teams. So there's a chance that the Celtics will play those teams too. Uh, let me go see if I can find the Knicks starting lineups. I'm assuming that OG's going to play because they had the day off yesterday and he's healthy again. Much to my surprise, the last time we did one of these things. Uh, where's the Grandy tweet? He's definitely got the lineups for me. Move this damn thing before I spill it. Chicago is the eight seed. Would be nice. It would be hilarious if they somehow snuck in to play the Celtics. All right. Starting lineups for the Knicks. Brunson, DiVincenzo, OG, Hart, and Hartenstein. No OG O'Shea Brissett today. Oh, is Horford going to play today, too? Why Why are they doing this? Why are they doing this? They're going to trot out the whole healthy squad. Knicks have a guy named Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown's he played, uh, played in the Summer League, too. That's the first time I think we all got to hear about him. Cool, this says Miami's going to end up with the eighth seed. A lot is being made of Philly being in the play-in game. And I'm just not convinced that they're going to lose the playing game. I think they've won like six in a row. I'm Welcome back. back. I tried to fix something. Everything. That was fun. Uh, yeah, I've got nothing. It's just no The camera's broken. Sadly. We have lost one. It's okay. We can see Duke on the screen. You there, Jack? No. (laughs) 
Bergen says Celtics need to sweep Philly. Philly be a two or three seed if B didn't get hurt. This is what I've been saying. They were playing really well before he went down. They were 26 and 8. Kind of sucks for the teams at the top that they might end up having to play him. But they've won six. They haven't lost since he came back. Wi Fi is also broken. I don't know if he's. The thing about the frozen camera or no cameras, you don't see if he freezes. You don't know. There's more issues in his camera. <laughs> Sounds very nice. I don't remember you saying that. I always thought they'd win a ton of games. I'm always like more. Um, I have higher expectations than Jack does when it comes to that because he's right. Injuries happen and stuff. But if they went out, they can win 65 games. That'd be great. I think the line before the season was what 56 and a half, 55 and a half. It wasn't that many. Very very good season from the Celtics. They probably overachieved record wise, even though. They're about as good as I feel like they should have been. That's what I would say on that. Who said? Who told me that Horford is playing or is not playing? Troy says no Horford, but Grandy only lists Brissett is out. I trust you, Troy. I just wish there was somewhere I could find this. <laughs> Let's see. Here, I'll share the picture of Jack. Just so you guys can see he's okay. Got a picture with Rui before the game. Here we go. I wish the default on this was not to share my tab audio. I don't need something to be playing in the background. There's Rui with Jack, Cam, Bobby, Noah, and Justin. Glad he got to the game tonight. I love the bucket hat. Respect. Eli says O'Shea sitting courtside to get some footage for the vlog. Celtics account says Horford available. I think Horford's going to play tonight. They're just going to sit everybody against the Hornets tomorrow. But that's sucky. They should have sat everybody today. You you need to take the wrestling villain uh, route and just be like, I am not going to play anybody until the playoffs. Like if you want to face our full healthy team, you got to make it to the whatever round of the playoffs. The Celtics will end up being able to play the Knicks because. Seating is a crapshoot. David says, I'd love to see us beat an East playoff team that's somewhat healthy. Haven't done it since the All-Star break. Is that true? TNT forcing us to play our guys for views. That could be that could be a thing. I mean, Giannis didn't play in that Bucks game. I guess you might be right. Not to say I don't think they can. They can beat these guys or anybody, but it's an interesting point. Their their schedule was very top heavy. They played a lot of good teams early in the season, and then they've played all the Mickey Mouse teams in the last month. But yeah, we got ourselves a TNT game today. Not fun. Celtics are awful on TNT. I think they're like four and nine on TNT this year. You guys talk about Jack and I being cursed in the playback. They fire up TNT. It's bad news for our boys. Jack is back. Welcome back. It's, it's still Duke. I don't even know anymore. I'm fucking lost. Yeah, I the, the camera's broken. No, I, like the, then the Wi-Fi cut out. Then it like just kicked me. Then like the, I the, it just got kicked. Like it, it wasn't the camera. Really? My connection. Yeah, I'm just like cooked tonight. I just, I'm not allowed to like do anything. I don't know what's happening. That's a catastrophe. It's crazy. You, this you is horrendous. I'm, I'm today. mad. This is ridiculous. I'd be mad too. <laughs> I have a solution coming through, though, or kind of. Let me just test it. What is this? Hello, chat. You'll see in one sec. Just let me cook for a second. We'll see who breaks the street, TNT or Jack and Sam. Well, we're not on playback today, so. Yeah. That's I guess. Us. I guess that's what he's saying. Somebody. Somebody has to have True. one going in the column despite their presence being there or not this is true <laughs> rj says jack has Rui to film you're a prissy that's right mm -hmm. let's see how this looks 
I'm gonna pull up other matchups around the league to see if there's anything interesting happening tonight. HBTC Pipe Pratty Pipe Brissy Files. Let's see. We have Chicago, Detroit, nothing game. Houston, Utah, nothing game. Warriors, Portland matters for the Warriors. And are you on the phone, Jack? Yeah, I'm just gonna turn my sound all the way off. I do. Yeah, so this is the only Eastern Conference game at all today. Now, can we remove? How's this? Can you hear me? Good. Yeah, I can hear you. I'm trying to figure out. I don't know if you can remove Duke. Not remove them, but just keep them off. Because I'm still speaking. Yeah. Can I do. Like. No, now, now I can't hear your mic. I think we just might have to have Duke on the screen respectfully. But what are, what are you going to do? Whatever. What are you going to do? It's tough. This kind of works, though. We can do this remote, Excuse me for post-game for sure. <laughs> oh, you know what we can do? If you remind me What's during the that? game, I can make an overlay to go over Duke in the middle. You can make what? An overlay to go over Duke in the middle so we can see just us. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, you could do that. Kind of like Andrew's layout. For, um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Throw KP. That's true. KP is playing. Throw him over Duke. Say. Sorry, chat. I don't know. What's wrong with this stuff today? Good suggestion. We'll we'll run with this for today. Why not? The Garden Wi-Fi. Garden Wi-Fi is also just like cooking me right now. It's especially bad today. It's weird when it's not me. I like the sweatshirt, though. I couldn't hear you on that one. (laughs) See, the issue now is you're not lagging on my phone because that's using service, but you are lagging on my computer, which is where my audio is. So you can, like, hear me trying to talk. So chat now gets to, like, understand what lag is like in real time for the person because you can see me moving clearly on the phone. But like when I lag, my audio is gonna glitch out. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. Thank you, Tom. So you're gonna hear me go up, 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 but you'll see everything I'm trying to say. So you get really good at lip reading as well. Timo says the hot spot. Jack's phone's gonna melt like a popsicle in July. It's bad. I'm surprised at how good this camera quality is, though. I look like pretty normal. Yeah, no, no. I was about to tell you that this is a good. I can't. Oh, can you do it? You can do it on the computer. I can do practice. Let's see if how bad this cooks my stuff. All right, let's see. Uh, sorry for the uh, the garbage stream from me, Chad. I, I can't do anything. It's just, it's fucked. I mean, you've had to do streams on me before. It's okay. Yeah, this is crazy. All right, can we do... There. It wouldn't be an end of the season game without a Sam does the show by himself layout. I guess so. <laughs> Debuted last spring. It's inevitable. Nothing for dunks. Two KP locks. Do we like two? I don't know. It's iffy. Feels like a lot. Yeah. We have any like offensive rebounds? <clears throat> Breeze. Let's look into the KPs. Let me pull it up full screen. Uh, this is made. This is like, attempted. I like Pritchard. I like the, the mm. more than two or two or more made. I like that as well. I'm in. Anything All for right. assist that we we like? D White for five or your holiday for four or more. I mean, honestly, Pritchard for three is not too bad. Yeah, it's too bad we just can't do a Pritchard Pritchard stack oh, yeah. prize picks. Shit. We not do too. No, uh, no. I mean, it's it's letting you place the entry. We'll, we'll leave him in there for two, and then worst case, we'll switch it. <laughs> um, three throws like made. Three throws. It's it's. A They're terrified game. of the Celtics now after last game. I feel like Brunson gets more than six though. <laughs> this is made. Still. All right, I'm in. 
What about rebounds? We have steals. Yeah, we have steals. Nobody for the Celtics, though. No, I guess not. <clears throat> Blocks and steals. D. White. I like that a lot, actually. Yeah, I think that's a pretty decent one. All right, let's see if it lets us do Pritchard. Double. Nope. No. Which Pritchard do we like more? Uh, the assists. <clears throat> I agree. Um, field goals attempted. Nothing. Jazz mm-hmm. says Garden a- unable to pay Wi-Fi services. All the money went to Drew's new contract. It's true. I heard that. <clears throat> attempted threes. Damn, Dante. Timo likes the Kristaps blocks. He says Nick's offensive rebound a lot. He'll get some blocks off that. <clears throat> That's actually a really good point. Yeah. Oh, Put yeah, him Timo. in there. Okay, I'm in. Where is blocks? Am I blind? Yep. It's, why is it block shots it, but not like stolen? Pa- like why is it say, just say blocks? It's weird. No? Yeah, it's a little weird. All right. We'll rock with that. <clears throat> HBTC prize picks today is um, – where is my interest? Uh, Pritchard, more than two and a half assists. Brunson, more than six free throws made. D. White, more than one and a half blocks and seals. And Kristaps, more than one and a half blocks. That's what we got cooking up today. <laughs> yeah. Got the Avengers on the screen. It's a fucking dog. Duke. <laughs> fucking Duke. <laughs> This guy. Oh, man. I'm surprised at how in sync my speech is with my camera, considering it's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of hear that. It like, I would, I would expect to, to be a little delayed. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm impressed. Oh, they're about to start the introductions. Did you do starting lineups yet? I mean, I assume you know. I didn't put them on the spot. screen, but I read them. It's it's Holly. It's the regular starting five for Boston. For the Knicks, it's uh, Brunson, DiVincenzo, OG, Hart, and Hartenstein. Oh, they're doing Red Arbach Award. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna? It's gonna be. I I almost feel like it's Drew. I feel like that's gonna be the the guy. See, you guys are. Getting this live, live award giving out. I can tell you where you can see the video though, because I can see Bobby, Cam, Justin, and that we're all filming it. No, <laughs> oh, Derek White, congratulations! All right, everyone, go watch this. Everyone, go watch it on Bobby's Twitter. Cam's Twitter, uh, Justin's Twitter, and on Noah's Twitter. They all have the video. I think I broke my finger. Mm, how'd you do that? Basketball. I was guarding, and some guy's forearm went between my pinky and my uh, <coughs> ring finger. Ouch. Look how fat this damn band is. Oh. This is the yeah, band. Yeah, it's not fun. Yeah, no, it's it not good, though. It doesn't look good. <coughs> What did he win? He won uh, the Red Hour Pack Award. <laughs> they yeah, gave him the national anthem. All right. You want to rap it? Nah, you guys want to listen to this middle school band play the anthem? Stand. Stand up. <laughs> <laughs> Whole chat started saying stand up on the screen. <laughs> Ice it down. I did put some ice on it. I, maybe I'll put more ice on it. Ugh. You know what? I got the I got the call today. Goggles are ready to be picked up. They're ready. It's good news. I'll be ready to go. <laughs> you ice it. That's so loud. <laughs> Stay seated, Jack. <laughs> it is about seven thirty though. So the game actually, it's a TNT game. So yeah, it's a topic. TNT game. They're not gonna. Right. They're not messing around. All right. Well, do you want to wrap it up? Yeah, we can wrap it up. Guys, thank you very much for watching. We we got a somewhat type of uh, hype game in front of us, so I guess we'll play the song Downright to get fans, everybody hyped. Most famous words uh, in sports, the star of here we go. Pictures movie. I now pronounce you Chuck and Larry, Kevin James. I just got three things to say. Talking scenes God tomorrow. bless our troops. God bless America. This is just good national Start. You're <laughs>
Alright, I'm hitting it. <laughs> Bye, later. chat.